It's supposed to be a sisterhood. And I don't feel a sisterhood right now. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black and neck on. girlies fighting what is going on y'all we have got to talk about this long weekend of just female rap beef girl like it was a lot going on it went from jt to asian doll to carisha to asian doll responding to rolling ray responding to carisha to asian doll saying girl let's meet up the mess is out of control, and y'all know how I am. I'm going to give y'all a small dose of the tea of what happened and a lot of my thoughts of how, what should have just happened and how can we go from there. So, as you all know, Asian Doll was on Instagram Live, and she was playing, you know, her songs or whatever. She playing some songs that she rapped, and then she got to a particular song, and the girls recognized the beat. I, I was supposed to do that song. I don't know what happened. But I'll play it for y'all because it ain't number my, it ain't number this. I think I had did this before anybody had got the song, but. Hey. They recognized the beat and come to find out, you know, this was a song that was on Megan's album. Um, It was called Do It On The Tip. And the girls were in the comments like, girl, what's going on? So you got Asian doll, she on there, she just like, you know, I got sent this song before everybody. And, you know, I don't know what happened to it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like the girls are reacting. So we start this conversation of why is this song not on Megan's album, considering that Megan and Stallion is extremely close with Asian Doll. They're friends, they're cool in real, real life, whatever that means. <laughs> so out of nowhere, JT from the City Girls responds and is just like, what is these girls talking about? They trying to get some clout. Like, what's going on? Like, what's the tea? What's it giving? And Asian Doll saw that. And she was just like, girl, JT ain't talking about me. She can't be talking about me, girl. Like, she ain't talking about me. So until she said my name, she ain't. So then, like this is, I think it's like, I think it's all happened within like a two day situation because there's a video of uh, Megan Thee Stallion in the comments of JT's live, like JT is live and she's driving, she's somewhere, and apparently JT lives in Atlanta, and Megan Thee Stallion comes in and she comes with the heart eye emojis like, ah, and JT makes it her point to speak to Megan. So to everybody else is looking like, girl, JT been throwing some little shots at your friend, at your dog, why would you be in the Instagram giving all of that, like what's the tea? So, Asian Doll sees this, she sees what's going on, and she claps back, and she just starts, you know, saying some stuff about Megan Thee Stallion, like, girl, you don't even know this girl, you out here doing all of this, like, da 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 da, -da. Megan responds on Twitter and said, girl, basically, you a high head, like, you doing too much, you know what you did when you played this song, you know, like, you know what it is, like, you need to calm down, it's not that serious, she said, I don't like to get in all this drama, and you got yourself in this drama, it wasn't that serious, so... This is going on, Megan deletes her tweets, Megan had did a video and just basically said if she was to come on and dress beef and drama every time she would be miserable, which is true. Now honestly, if we was to think about the person who always is responding and asking, why am I trending, you would know exactly what that is. Like, it would be a lot, and I tell myself this, if I had to respond to every negative comment um, on my YouTube channel and all these other things, I would never get any work done. Like. I have to be able to, that's, I asked that question in my previous King of Reese video, like you have to be able to separate good critique, legitimate critique from folks who just ain't gonna never prove you. Like you ain't gonna never be able to prove them right. You're not gonna ever be able to satisfy them. And it's a hard thing to be able to do when you're listening and you're trying to make sure that there are some things that you can prove by yourself. So I can get it with Megan Thee Stallion, I get it. Megan Thee Stallion has had an interesting year. Like she's still recovering from all that drama with um, Tory Lanez. So I can see Megan Thee Stallion like, I don't feel like being in any more drama, girl. Like, I don't wanna be in any more drama. But what do you do in a situation when your friend is out here getting dragged by a group of girls that's on your side? Like, what do you do? And it's a difficult thing because you have to separate your personal relationship with business. 
Um, I listened to, to um, Asia DeBrat or whatever her name is this week's verse on doing on the tip. I wasn't impressed. That doesn't mean that you're not good, Asian doll. It doesn't mean that you're not talented. But they see the girls eight. JT eight, Carisha eight. They did a good job. Um, yes, Megan could have been a good friend and said, hey, girl, like, let me put my friend on here. But what Megan could have really done in a, in a friend, like, she could have just communicated. She could have just said, hey, the label ain't feeling you being on this song. They want to see the girls. You know how it goes. Like, we, you know, girl. But we're going to do a song together. So I feel like Sis had already been hot, having these issues with being a friend with someone who is in the same realm with you doing the same stuff. They are here doing real good and you can barely get your music played on the early, or like on the radio and all that other stuff in the clubs and stuff. So I think that does bother Asian. Like, this is my friend. My friend is the most mainstream, you know, successful female rapper right now. That, I mean, as much as Asian Doll wants to say that she doesn't care about that, it's a friend. No, it's not Asian Doll. Like, it's not. If that was the case, you would have never played that shit. The verse was not that good for you to be playing. You knew exactly what you were doing. And I'm going to give Asian Doll some grace because she is a dark skinned woman. She's a dark skinned female rapper. And I just feel like there are not that many dark skinned female rappers. There are not that many of them. But I'm going to only give you so much, Asian Doll, because I didn't like how you was coming at JT. And I am not a fan of JT like that. But when you was bringing up and talking about being pretty and all the other stuff and, and JT, like how she looked at her mug shot and all the other stuff, it's just like... JT was probably like, what, 19, 20, and it's like, I, we do this, this stuff where we see a picture of us when we were like 12 and 13, it was like, oh my gosh, the glow up and all this. It's just like, what does that matter? When you had 12 and 13 years old, what does that matter about y'all looks? And we wonder why children be out here depressed and going through all types of stuff at the age of 12. Look at the expectations that we put on kids. They're seeing this conversation. Like, they think they're supposed to look like a 25-year-old at 12, and it's just not realistic. Like... But when, however old JT was when she took that picture when she was arrested, even if she was 18, 21, or whatever, like, it's okay. It's okay. JT's not an ugly girl. She's beautiful. And I just, I, I'm really, I really am keeping myself. I do not like calling folks ugly and all these things because we start to make all types of things to make ourselves look like something that would never be. We would never be completely beautiful to everybody. It just won't happen. And it fucks with us psychological. Like, like on a mental state, it messes with us. And you can kind of see it. Like, look at how many, like when these celebrities get that they be fixing every little thing because they are paying attention to every little thing that is said about them. Every little thing from their weight to their teeth and all that. Like, I love JT. But girl, I honestly would have been okay if JT had her regular sized teeth because my sis can barely open her mouth without looking like a, a, a puppet off of uh, Sesame Street. Like she about to do ABCs of, uh, and one, two, threes of COVID-19. Like it's just, like sis was talking to her mouth. I was like, girl, she can't even close her mouth because her, it was just giving me like, she was looking like that thing um, off of SpongeBob that was about to eat that piece of burger. I can't think of his name, but that's what it was giving. And I just... I didn't like how Asian had all said about that. I think JT is beautiful. Her teeth are big as hell. Um, and this whole thing with JT saying, I don't like to be trending for all the drama. I don't like to be coming in here doing all this stuff. If that was the case, JT, you would have just paid that shit dust. Honestly. Like, you could have just paid that shit dust like JT. If you are on another level than this girl and whatever, just ignore it. If you truly all about that, you are that girl, you would not be responding. You would not be out here responding and saying anything, honestly. But it does it does hurt you a little bit for her to say y'all number one song or whatever was written by somebody. That does bother you. And that's no, like, I ain't gonna lie. I think they, sh I, I think JT would definitely watch Asian Doll. Like, that's just me. I think JT is talented with, with her pen. I think she's definitely talented. Now, when I was talking to my friend, my friend was like, now, you know, Asian Doll might, you know, eat uh, Carisha up. Carisha ain't right now. Like, Carisha is just like the video vixen rap influencer. Like, to, to not take anything from Young Miami. But Young Miami knows it. She ain't here pushing her pants. She ain't here doing it. She just in there, ow, ow. Um, and JT just like, she does not like to dance and, and do all the other stuff. But Carisha and Young Miami is fine with it. She's learning how to do it. See, she had the LeRae. <laughs> she liked doing it. So, I, you can tell the Asian Doll was pressed about it. And her energy was misplaced. I think she could have had a conversation with her friend. But come to find out, her and Megan ain't been seeing 
eye to eye a little bit. They ain't that too much friend. Uh, Megan, you do see stuff. As much as you don't engage in social media, you still see stuff because there was a comment that your former hairstylist made on Neighborhood Talk. Made a comment and said something to up to Asian Doll, like, girl, we got you, we good. Then so happened after that, you post a picture with your stylist. Like, Megan, you be doing the stuff. You know you be doing stuff, girl. You be seeing it. You be throwing jabs and stuff, too. When y'all can just all ignore it. Y'all can all ignore it and just go about y'all business. Honestly, Megan, you should have been a friend and just told your friend, hey, girl, like, I'm going to send you some more beats. I'm going to send you some more beats. We're going we gonna to figure out. We're going to do a song together. But it's very talented. And I've thought about this whole situation. I've thought about this even with Santana and City Girls. City Girls are like the girls right now. They don't have one song with Santana. So how does that work? Does Santana know his lane? Like, I'm working on my stuff. And like, I ain't going to say anything. Or is Santana a little pressed about it? Like, you know, girl, hey, girl, like, y'all are my friend. But y'all ain't doing no song with me. Like, what's the tea? Like, y'all ain't looking out for me and stuff. So it's just like separating your friendship from business. It's very difficult. Not a lot of people can do it. Um, and I think it's a very fine line. And I've asked somebody who's, who has something like that going on. How do you do that? How do you be cool with your friend? Y'all both in the industry. Y'all both grinding and doing. And like, how do you make sure? Because some folks gonna be like, well, girl, we like you more. How does, that, how does that work? As a person who's been through something like that, I definitely get it. I definitely get it. Even from people might suspect it or think it and, and, or whatever or people, I, I know it. I, I know it's a difficult thing, but you have to be able to separate a little bit and have to be like communicate. That is the most important part that Megan could have done from the very beginning and just communicated, communicated that to Asian Doll. But Asian Doll says she didn't know what happened to the song. But the song is on Megan's album and it's got the City Girls on there. So you got all this drama going on. Then, Roland Ray gets into the mix. And, you know, Roland Ray has been into it with Santana. <laughs> and Santana been throwing shots and little stuff at Roland Ray. And Roland Ray been clapping back. So Carisha firing shots at Roland Ray. And basically saying, like, girl, all I got to do is... Um, knocks this out of her wheelchair and punch her, it's over with, da 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 da. And Roland Ray didn't take that wheel. Like, Roland Ray was like, girl, basically, here go a shovel, go dig up your, go dig up your baby daddy. Baby. <laughs> baby. Oh my God. When Roland Ray said that, when Roland Ray posted, I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Y'all, Miami was super pissed by that. She said, girl, that crossed the line. And I'm looking like, you just mentioned like pushing him out of the wheelchair. Like that might be funny to you, but that's not funny to him. You see where we're going here? Like you just said something that you knew was kind of off limits. You knew it was like, girl, you were ableist in that moment. And you could have said anything else. You could have said, girl, what does it look like me responding to a Roland Ray? And I'm out here, you know, doing all these stuff like, girl, Roland Ray, love you. Mwah, and ended that. But you got into all of that, and Roland Ray turned up a notch and said, girl, here go a shovel, go, big up, go dig up your baby daddy, girl. And I know that hurt, Carisha. I know it too, but girl, I'm going to be honest. Like, y'all have been saying some real trash foul stuff, like <laughs> some foul stuff online for a minute. Um, and y'all had, like, a situation where y'all was having old tweets we found. Carisha, you was in an interview talking about you was going to hit your baby, your child upside the head with a doll if they was gay and stuff like Girl... Roland Ray is a whole fat, dark-skinned, disabled, black, queer man. Like, sis. Like, you talking about marginalized? Like, he fits multiple. He's black, he, he's, like, he's, he's gay, and he's dark-skinned, and he's fat, and he's disabled. And he's thin. So you don't think this, this is the first time he's heard somebody make a joke about him being, um, you know, disabled or being in a wheelchair? Like, Roland Ray has dealt with that. Like, sis knows how to clap back. And she was ready for you. So I'm going to tell you, like, folks who be experiencing stuff like that, they be ready. They be on, who's on ready tonight? Roland Ray was on ready, and he ate that ass up. And, you know, some folks said he took it too far, took it too far. Let me go tell you who, I, who you are. Uh, <laughs> so your man rolling in the wheelchair. Come on. <laughs> but you took it too far, Carisha. It was too much. It was too much. 
So um, all of this beef and stuff is going on, and I just want the girls to get into the studio and push their pen. That's all I want. The girls get in the studio, like do a little, but they said they ain't doing none of that. Like they ain't, they ain't doing none of that. H Doll said she gonna watch all the girls, and there's a big conversation why H Doll is not doing as well as everybody else. Like what, what's going on? But I think we also have to think about all of the dark skin female rappers who have been told they're talented, who we say they have a good pen, but not mainstream. Like, Asian Doll left Gucci Mane's um, label. Like, she's independent. Like, we have, there is not a, it's not a coincidence that all the dark-skinned female rappers are experiencing this. Like, your Cash Dolls, your Dreezy, your Asian Doll, like, your Rhapsody. Like, they're not mainstream. They're all talented in their own right. They're all good, but they are not mainstream. So what does that tell you? And then the couple of dark skin, or <laughs> the couple of ones who are, you know, a little bit darker, uh, who are darker than the, the mainstream ones, like the light skinned ones, um, like your JTs, they've been called ugly too. Like y'all keep bringing up JT being ugly and JT is not ugly. Think about, there's a girl right now that looks like JT right now who would not be able to do all of these augmentations and stuff to their face and whatever and get, you know, clear skin and all this stuff. We have to be careful when we, like, when we saying stuff like that, how, what, what, what kind of pressure are we putting on younger black girls and when they're seeing that because there's a lot of young black girls who think that, like, younger black dark skinned girls who think they're ugly because of comments and stuff like that. We have to think about that. And there's a reason why that dark skinned black girl, there's a video of this dark skinned black girl that was viral this year or last year where she was telling her mama was like she was telling her mama that she was ugly. That's the reason why we have to be stuff like this. Like these kids pay attention to it and we have to be cognitive of that. We do. So tell me what you think about the whole rap beef girl. I just want the girls to get in there and push their pen, do what they gotta do, or do it on the tip. But I do feel like at the end of the day, Megan Thee Stallion should have communicated and just basically told Asian Doll, like, girl, this is what's going on. And if Asian Doll did receive that from Megan and Megan did let her know that, then Asian Doll is most, most definitely in the wrong Like Asian Doll, you knew exactly what you were doing in that moment when you did that live and you posted that. Girl, you knew the ramifications of that. So, girl, don't play no games. Tell me what y'all think about the whole situation in the comments, and I'll talk to y'all later tonight.